We are all consumers, and the products we consume move through a supply chain. A supply chain includes the production of a product in a plant, transport to storage in a warehouse, and transport to the consumer, you. But with all these elements in play, have you ever stopped to think about your t-shirts carbon footprint? 14% of global greenhouse gas emissions are due to transportation. 21% are due to industrial processes, and 25% are due to the production of heat and electricity. That's 60% for which supply chains are a major contributor. In my work, I design supply chains, also known as supply chain network design. I use mathematics and optimization to find the best combination of plant and warehouse location in addition to transport methods in order to minimize total cost while satisfying customer demand. Recently, Prime Minister Trudeau implemented a federal carbon tax of $10 per ton of CO2. That means that the costs in the supply chain have now changed. Now, a company may choose a more costly efficient technology if it ends up being cheaper in the long run. But what about that carbon footprint? Currently, supply chain network design considers a fixed known demand. But in my work, I predict consumer demand if they're aware of the product's carbon footprint. By using this, companies can maximize their profit by capturing a larger portion of the market, including the average consumer who cares about climate change, but doesn't have the time or resources to research every item's carbon footprint. I mean, we all hate taxes. So what if, instead of taxing emissions, we knew exactly why an environmentally friendly product costs more by displaying its carbon footprint. Supply chain network design problems are NP hard, which means they're extremely difficult to solve to optimality. So I'm using a method called Lagrangian relaxation. See the second panel. If I split my problem into two parts, I can make it much easier to solve. If I use a master problem to come to maintain a connection between the two sub-problems I solve separately, I can come to a good solution much quicker. Why is this important? Because in order to actually solve these complex problems, we require strong and advanced methods such as this. What I want you to take away from this is a greater sense of awareness about the journey of your t-shirt. I want consumers to make more educated choices regarding their carbon footprint. Once we can see the carbon footprint right next to the price tag, then we can decide. Is it worth it?